Okay. Uh, we left off talking about, well, three act structures and how to get started. And I'm going to talk more about this, but let's talk about characters. Now, when you start in a novel from scratch, and if you've never written a novel before, where do you start? Usually I start with a thing called a premise. Uh, for book writing, like novels, it's a premise. And that can be three or four or five paragraphs long. For a uh, film, a feature film, it's called a log line. That cannot be longer than 25 words. That's called the elevator pitch. Let's say you ran into a producer, never heard of you, never heard of your film that you were trying to write, nothing. What are you gonna do? You climb into the elevator with the producer and you've got what, three floors before he gets out? So you've got to develop a one minute pitch. Let's see, pitch, pitch. Hmm, well the best pitch I know is a cheat. <laughs> it's for Alien and it's called Jaws in Outer Space. Uh, let's see, Jaws. Now we referenced that before, so let's use that. I can't remember the pitch. Uh, that they wrote, this is more than 25 words, but, you know, a sheriff a, afraid of water who loves his family is um, accosted by a great white shark. He must go back on the high seas, even though he's afraid of water, to kill it, to save his family. Now, that's more than 25 words, and what I do is I type that up, I whittle it down till it's 25 words or less, you know. So, so now let's go back to the book. Where do you start? You start with characters. Now, there's a good friend of mine, that guy there. He's, uh, well, he's a bartender, but he was the president of the Bearhaven Golf Society here. I'm a member. I play golf when I'm not writing, when I just want to relax. I haven't played golf yet. I'm going to go out and the weather finally cleared. It was misty and raining. And I'm just going to go do some pitch and button and, you know, maybe try a five wood or something. And uh, so, let's say you know somebody you really, really well and you love them. Okay. That's the start of maybe your protagonist. So tear them apart. What do you love about them? Let's say it's a woman. Okay. And her name is uh, Jessie. Just say. So you don't want to say Jessie or Jessica in your story might embarrass her. So you maybe say Joan, okay, you relate to Jay. You relate to that. You relate to the, that good friend of yours. Then what do you do? As I say, tear her apart. What are her strengths? She's strong and uh, she's a great mom maybe, okay? And she's older than you, so she's let's say 45, all right? So she's wiser than you. And she's wise about the world. And look at her backstory. What's happened to her? Well, as it turned out, and maybe this is fiction, uh, this Joan that you're making up, based on somebody that you know, had an abortion when she was 18. And she hates herself for it because she's not religious. She just loves kids. She's got three kids now. And at the time when she had the abortion, there was nothing she could do about it. Her parents were supportive. They knew she was pregnant. She was, uh, you know, humiliated for some reason. Maybe she lived in a rural town. And back then, having an abortion, you know, even, what, 30 years ago, less? That could be humiliating. So she kept it a secret. Okay, now, what did that do to her? She keeps things secret unless she knows you really, really well. Okay, now you know this, you know, the, the person you really know. And does she keep things secret? Does she? Do you keep things secret? Why? Because you don't trust people properly. You only trust your best friends with secrets. Analyze it. Why don't you trust everybody? Because you've been hurt. And you start to use that, the stuff that's in you, okay, right here in your heart, in your belly, all over. Maybe you were beaten. Maybe you're an abandoned mother or something. Or maybe you're a dad or a, a, a single guy like me right now. And maybe you're lonely. 
and maybe things have happened to you that you don't want to share with the world, that's what you start to use to develop your characters and your backstories. And then it moves on. You take that and you put it together with your premise or your long line or your, you know, everything else that you're doing. And you start. It starts with one single word. Usually the uh, protagonist, okay? So in Dolphin Song, I started pretty much with Dawn. Dawn, I didn't even have a surname. Initially, I called her Reynolds. That was her, you know, her maiden name, Dawn Reynolds. And But she got married to uh, a fellow by the name of McCarthy. So I trans, you know, became Dawn McCarthy. And so we go. All right, we'll talk more about it. It's, it's a lot of fun writing. It's just a lot of work. You just got to keep at it. You know, even if you're working full time, sit down for an hour a day, you know, one hour a day and type anything at all. And if you don't like it, save it and type some more the next day. And after a while, you're going to get a good idea where your story is going. And then you start your first chapter. And you start with one word. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you probably go end up like me. I don't like writing anymore because it's too much work and it takes too much of this and you get exhausted by it. But keep going. Hemingway started this way, I'm sure. So you take care of yourselves. God bless you. Talk more later. Bye-bye.